All right, just like I promised earlier in the day, this is the banana split iced coffee from Duncan. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. Not sure if you knew. Persuasive, two words, persuasive. I digress. Vocabulary. Again, vocabulary. I had vocabulary in the Shooting Star video I launched a couple hours ago. Did you see it? Duncan has also come out with a brand new donut that has Pop Rocks on top of it. If you missed it, that link will be down below. It's called the Shooting Star Donut, shaped like a star, whole big thing. But I did promise in that video to show you this new iced coffee flavor, Banana Split. Duncan has come out with three new uh, iced coffee flavors. One of them is not new, the Butter Pecan. The other two are it is the banana split and the pistachio almond fudge. I will be getting to that one uh, sooner than later. But I had to try the banana split. Here it is. So I'm guessing maybe strawberry, maybe uh, bananas, uh, maybe some whipped cream flavoring, maybe some vanilla flavoring for the ice cream. I don't know what to expect, but I definitely know this should be uh, chocolate of some kind with the sauce, strawberry of some kind if they can do it, as well as, you know, bananas, banana split. So let's not waste any time. I got this the way it's ordered. If you order a banana split, medium iced coffee, did not ask for any extra sugar, any extra cream, but I will tell you that is looking really light right there. So I'm not sure if they went heavy on the cream on this one, but wish me luck. Banana split iced uh, coffee. I also forgot to mention that those three flavors are Baskin Robbins ice cream uh, flavors. They are reminiscent of the flavors of ice cream you're going to get at Baskin Robbins. And if you're familiar with Baskin and Robbins, what is it, 36 flavors, 39 flavors, 86 flavors. Uh, a lot of the Dunkins around the country are half Dunkin', half Baskin Robbins, so they're doing a little uh, collab, a little team up, and they are honoring uh, three of the flavors of ice cream. So that's what these are. They are basically the three Baskin Robbins uh, ice cream flavors. Banana split. Definitely getting banana. Wow. I'm not sure what I totally expected, but I'm thinking banana split with the strawberry, the chocolate, as well as like whipped cream and the bananas, uh, and maybe a cherry. But I'm not sure how you can get all of that into an iced coffee. So. I am happy that the banana flavor is subtle and it doesn't taste artificial. There's not that chemical taste, so I like it. It's smooth. And there is a like a cream, like a sweet cream flavor. And I know I added cream and sugar to this, so it is sweet. But there is almost like a flavor of uh, whipped cream. But I'm not getting much, if any, of anything else. Slight hint of mocha, slight hint, but you could tell right there it's not dark at all. And I'm not getting any of uh, what would be strawberry or even a cherry, so third taste. I'll tell you, going into this, I wouldn't have been mad at this if it was just chocolate and banana. I'm a fan of that. Throwing a little peanut butter too, no brainer. Had adjustment. But this is coming up a little bit short for me. I enjoy it. I actually do enjoy it, but I was hoping for more of the banana split flair. If you're going to throw a banana split name all up into this uh, product, you should come correct a little bit better, but it's still good. It's sweet, a little bit of a banana taste, and no artificial aftertaste, slight mocha. If I ever got that again, I probably would order it the exact same way and just say one pump of mocha and uh, go from there. So uh, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of who? I'm going to give the banana split swirl, technically it's the banana split swirl, uh, iced coffee from Duncan, a rating of solid 80. 
8 out of 10. I almost said 79, but I bumped it up because I'll finish it and I will probably add some Hershey's uh, chocolate that I have in the refrigerator, knock it into this bad boy, and I think I will be good to go. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Not sure if you know. That's social media. I'm spreading the word of my channel on social media, tweeting and uh, posting pics on the gram. Uh, if you like what you see, definitely give me a follow. So uh, there you go. This has been a mini Duncan day, a mini one. I said uh, earlier that I posted the shooting start. Why did I, why did I point? Like something's gonna come up right here. No, nothing's coming up. But uh, earlier in the day, I pointed again. I launched the Shooting Star uh, Donut. I actually have some left if you missed it, but still check out the video. I'll have it linked. There's half of the donut that I ate, and those are Pop Rocks on the top there. Well, Pop Rocks is the brand. That is uh, Popping Candy, blue raspberry flavor. So yeah, I've talked enough. Dunkin' Day, two videos, one day for the price of nothing, because YouTube's free. I say it all the time. You're welcome. All right, bonus footage to all of my diehards out there. What do I have off camera that I'm about to show you? I just did a Duncan review. What is off camera? I'll give you a minute. You know what's off camera. A large mocha cold brew. Always do it. I got to have it standby in case the review doesn't go well. I always know that I have my go-to beverage on standby.